apparently there was a a pastor's wife that had passed away recently and the pastor had said that it was from suicide a lot of the people are saying it was not suicide so uh we just gonna tune into the video man and see what's going on out here in these streets man apparently she had a suicide a suicide voice uh not a voice a suicide call to the police also but let's tune into this video and see what's going on man Back on this Monday morning, authorities are investigating the death of a South Carolina pastor's wife after her body was found in a state park about a week ago. Pastor John Paul Miller told his congregation that his wife, 30-year-old Micah, took her own life after struggling with mental illness. But her friends and family say otherwise and want police to, quote, deeply investigate what happened. More than 100 people rallying outside John Paul's church in Myrtle Beach, demanding justice for Micah. This happened on Sunday. Our very own Kelsey Kernstein has been digging into the story. Kelsey, some pretty startling court documents revealing what may have happened just before Micah died. Yeah. Before she talks, you know what the craziest part about all this is? The craziest part is the first lady and the pastor are supposed to be the strongest mentally uh, stable people in the church they're supposed to be the head they're supposed to be the people you look up to the people you follow the people you respect and the people you pretty much want to resemble and if she was dealing with a mental health issue that should have been addressed a long time ago and her husband should have done everything in his power to help to help um this is an unfortunate situation of course they had kids um they were married for a very long time and now the streets is asking questions the streets is asking questions and i'm very curious to know what y'all think happened too in this com and uh in this video so let me know y'all thoughts Hey there, Hannah. They really are startling. Uh, so according to reports, just days before she died, she filed multiple times for a legal separation from her husband. We're also learning that she even filed for divorce back in October. Then Micah posted on Facebook about abuse just weeks ago. Uh, the video offers advice for people who may be in an abusive relationship. And some believe that this video is proof that Micah was in one herself. God hates divorce. But why? According to everybody I've asked and the, the scriptures that I've found, it's because it hurts people. But does abuse hurt people? How do you think God feels about that? So according to the police report, 30-year-old Micah Miller died on April 27th. We know that her body was found in Lumber River State Park in North Carolina. That is just about an hour away from where the Millers live in Myrtle Beach. Uh, just days after she died, her husband, Pastor John Paul Miller, told his parishioners that she had taken her own life and blamed it on her years of mental health struggles. However, police say they are still investigating how Micah died. I got a call late last night. My wife has passed away. And yeah, it was, it was self-induced, and it was uh, up in North Carolina. Y'all pray for me and my kids and everybody. And uh, she was, she wasn't, y'all knew that she wasn't well mentally, and that uh, she needed her medicine that was hard to get to her. And this is... Dang, she wasn't well mentally. Is crazy. How you get up? How you get up on the pulpit and say that to the people, man? That's sad. That's sad. That's like you don't have your wife's back. Nothing. Are you wilding? This is y'all pastor. This is y'all pastor. Hold up. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta analyze the situation here. You can't be getting up on stage a couple of days after talking about she wasn't mentally healthy, she was on meds, telling out all her business as if she didn't just kill herself. Ain't you supposed to be weeping and ain't you supposed to be sad? Ain't you supposed to be upset right now? How you, how you get up there and you talking all this talk? But you're not saying nothing about, I miss my wife. I wish my wife was still here. It don't even sound like you sad, bruv. It don't even sound like you sad. It just sound like you just, you just doing your thing. Life goes on. 
This is weird behavior. I'm not going to lie. I can see why a lot of people are skeptical about this, but let's continue. This is interesting, too. A Facebook group called Justice for Micah pointed out a statement from her obituary that they believe was odd. It reads, she would praise her husband after every church service, telling him he was the best preacher in the world, in parentheses, even if it wasn't true. She also told him he was the funniest preacher in the world, in parentheses, even if that wasn't true either. We also know on Sunday, dozens of people came together in Myrtle Beach and they gathered outside the church to rally. That's the type of support I'm talking about. And that's the type of support that she sh he should be having for her, especially at a time like this. Even if you ain't funny, even if you're preaching a bunch of nonsense, she's there sticking by your side. She's there telling the people, yo, regardless of how you feel, this is how I feel. That's that's the type of support you're supposed to be giving out. Not this, oh, she was on meds. She, she did this. She did that. Nah, we ain't trying to hear none of that. We ain't trying to hear none of that. Let's continue. Let's finish this off. Leave for Micah and send a message to her husband. Take a listen. I came out today to support her, to support her family, to support her story because her story is important and it needs to be heard. I remember one time passing by just saying hi and it was like the biggest smile on her face saying hi back. Micah's sister also telling her friends on social media not to listen to false stories being shared about Micah. And a friend of Micah is also saying that she spoke to Micah multiple times a week before she died and that her final text to her on Friday night was not a woman about to die, but a woman making plans to live. Uh, we have also reached out to John Paul Miller's church for comment, and we were told that now is not a good time to interview him. Mm -hmm. Hannah? Kelsey Kernstein, so many unanswered questions. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank yeah. Yeah, I got I got a lot of questions too. I got a lot of questions too. Um but here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. She did call the police and she did tell the police that she was going to kill herself. She did call them. Matter of fact, let's let's uh let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up and hear what they got to say. What she had said to the police officer. Um, let's tune in. Let's tune in. Hold up. Let me know how y'all feel about this down below in the comments too, man. Because this, this is crazy behavior right here, man. This is crazy behavior. We loading up. We loading up. Give me a second, y'all. Give me a second. Give me a second. If this is not loading up, then we just gonna have to move on. We just gonna have to move on. Here we go. Here we go. The death of a pastor's. All right. Let's tune in, man. Let's see what they let's see what this woman said to the police officer. Why right found she, shot in the uh, head has just been ruled herself. a suicide. But her friends and family still have questions about social media posts she made shortly before her death. It's an ocean of grief following the mysterious death of a pastor's wife. Mourners attend a beach memorial in her honor as questions. Here, let's forward. Let's hold her forward. sister. If I end up with a bullet in my head, it was not by me. It was hold JP. Up. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, slow down, slow down, slow down. This is not what we was looking for, but it looked like we found something spicy here. Micah's family allege in court papers that he was abusive during the marriage and that Micah feared her husband and wanted to escape from the relationship. The court papers allege Micah oh, told is, her sister, if I end up info. with a bullet in my head, it was not by me, it was JP. JP is her husband's initials. And there is this video that Micah recently posted on Facebook. You don't have to stay in a abusive relationship. A justice for Micah rally was held outside the church. Justice for Micah! Oh dang, All right. I was a little wrong then. I was a little wrong. She was taking shots too. Yikes. 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 Man, tell me y'all ain't happy without telling me y'all ain't happy, man. 
I wanted to hear the voice recording though. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. One call she made. Tell me what's um happened. I'm about to kill myself, and I just want my family to know where to find me. Cops say the pastor was not in town when his wife died. He's been quoted as telling a reporter he never hurt his wife in any way. Now, if you or anybody you know is struggling with mental health, help is available. There's a suicide and crisis lifeline. There's just three numbers, 988. Well, well, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that down below in the comments, man. This is, uh, this one's a wild case. We're going to find out what actually happened. Obviously, prayers up to the family. Prayers up to the to the kids that lost their mother. And, you know, prayers for her spouse, too. Although they might have not been agreeing, although they might not have been on the same page at the moment, I'm pretty sure this is devastating news to to them, to him. It's, it got to be. It got to be. And this is unfortunate. We don't want to see this happen. If you guys do ever have mental issues mental health issues whatever you want to call it seek help for real man seek help seek help even reach out to your boy if you need man i'll bring you back to life real quick real quick man ain't nothing nothing you can't talk to me about without me saying you know what this is the way you should go about it respectfully um but hey let me know how you guys feel about that down below in the comments man we gonna move